welcome to The Guide. I'm Yo, that's Will, and uh, we're here to talk about the new movie Safe House, starring Denzel Washington, Ryan Reynolds. Okay, so yeah. I would like you to please explain to me okay. what makes, what's more special about this movie that makes it better than any other government like action thriller <laughs> spy movie that's ever been made. Okay, see, that's actually a really good question because my answer would be Nothing. <laughs> it follows the genre to the letter. Okay. And so you pretty much know what's going to happen in this movie as it goes along. It hits all the beats that these types of movies do. Now, what makes the difference is two things. One, it's the performances. Denzel Washington is his usual stellar self. I right, mean, yeah. he, he simmers with intensity in this movie and you just can't wait for him to explode and when he does you're like oh man that was awesome <laughs> yes and then ryan reynolds surprisingly enough you know i i wasn't so sure i mean he did all right in green lantern but okay, i yeah. wasn't super impressed with him here he puts on an amazing performance of kind of the um naive type agent who gets in over his head and gets a lesson in what the reality of the spy world is really like and how he can't really come to terms with that because innately he's a good person and it's hard for a good person to survive in that kind of environment yeah. it's a complicated role and he really pulled it off really really well so that makes the movie better than average and then the direction of it the the action sequences are filmed very intensely I mean, there's a lot of tension. And there's a couple of times where a gunshot would go off and the audience would jump like it was a horror movie. <laughs> yeah. And that's just how they, they filmed it. They made that's it so cool. tense that sometimes when the action erupts, it really startles you. Because like, oh, you're so on edge. So, it sounds like a true suspense building. Yeah, now. yeah. So it's it's great. They do a great job with the, the thriller premise. The action's really cool. Um, so, you know, it, it's a well-made movie. Again, very familiar. Yeah. You, you yeah. pretty much know what's going to happen. But it's done well. So yeah. it, it's still entertaining in that and then um one of the things i thought was really interesting is one of the characters is talking about how how would you feel if someone was always watching everything you did even the moments that you're not proud of Whoa. and then they were going to take that and use it against you and I, I wrote that down as soon as i came up I was like okay that's the way a lot of people describe god <laughs> right he sees everything i do and then he's just going to use it against me to send me to hell it's like that's that's not the case. Yes, God sees everything that you do. Yes, there's going to be a record kept to that. But he's not just waiting there and saying, oh, mistake. Exactly. Oh, you're done. You're over. Jesus Christ came, died on the cross, and rose from the dead so that he could step in and say, yeah, they did all those things. But because of what I did for them, the slate's wiped clean. Yeah. So God's not looking for a way to condemn us. He's looking for a way to set us free. And I just thought it was interesting that there's this mentality in the movie that's so representative of how people think of God. He's just out to get me watching everything I do. Right. And God's like, I'm trying to help you get away from that. I'm willing <laughs> to wipe the slate clean and pretend all that never happened. Right. Totally. All you gotta do is believe. And people have a hard time. It's like, well, that's not very fair. I gotta believe in Jesus Christ. That's not fair. It's like, there is no other way. How could you not be happy that there is a way? That's as little of work that you have to do. But it's just one way. It's like, but it's a way. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise there is not. So, and, and then the movie also talks a lot about truth and lies and, and uh, what happens if you're constantly immersed in a, a, a culture of lying like you would be in the mm, so, yeah. so some it's got some depth to it. It's, it's really quite interesting. So yeah, um, it was pretty cool. Do you remember the movie Spy Games? <laughs> yes. Robert Redford, Brad Pitt. Okay, think of Safe House as Spy Games, the sequel. It's like oh. Spy Games mixed with some Jason Bourne. Interesting. So if you can yeah. picture what that would look like if those two were mixed together, that's what Safe House is. It, it sounds like something that is worth seeing to me. It is rated R, um, and I was actually surprised because it's a very reserved rated R. There's some language, but not as much as you would think. Yeah. Um, more the rated R rating comes from the, the violence. Now the violence isn't gory. It's not like blood splashing everywhere, but it's really intense, really brutal, really visceral. You know, again, <laughs> It, it, it's not visceral. it's not over the top gory yeah. you know splashing blood everywhere but it's really gritty stuff so and that adds to the tension of the movie so that that's a big part so keep that in mind right yeah it, it is a violent movie and the violence is pretty gritty and pretty brutal but you know it's not bloody it's not over the top gory 
Uh, the language isn't terrible. There's no sensuality. You know, so I was surprised. It's a very reserved radar, but because of how intense it can be, <laughs> I understood why it, why I had to get that R rating. So keep that in mind for your discernment meter. Yes. Um, I would give uh, Safe House a good five out of seven. There's a couple parts that bring the rating down. One, they pretty much tell you who the bad guy is at the very beginning. Like, <laughs> why did you show me that? That just reveals everything. You Even know, though you think it doesn't. Now I don't have to watch. Yeah, yeah so, so, and then, like I said, it's it hits all the beats of that genre. Uh, so the okay. story feels very familiar, like you were saying. Like, what makes it different? Nothing. <laughs> but it's done well. Um, so five out of seven for Safe House. Uh, you can read the full review, of course, at uh, GameAndMovieGuide.com and keep up when we're posting new reviews and much more at our Facebook page. Yeah, check it out. Facebook.com forward slash GameAndMovieGuide. And also Google+. Ooh.